Hello, you're watching Felix Doe TV. My name's Oscar and I'm here with Laurie and Matt. They're promoting their new film, Shy Bladders. How's it going, guys? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yes, I'm very well, thanks. Fantastic. Happy to be here. Brilliant. Tell us a little bit about the film. Well, well, yes, it's um, <clears throat> basically it explores that notion of, and the irrational fear, of going to the toilet in a public place. So yeah, Classic. Kind of looking at, um, you know, what is a private event, taking that out of that private space, putting it into a public space, obviously public urinals, people go through it every day. Sure. Um, and, and seeing, you know, there is a bit of comedy, there is a bit of humor. Definitely when is. you're growing up and you can be kind of awkward, there is, you know, there's something there that can be quite... Um, Looking at it in retrospect, I mean, we've all been there. Yep. We've all been to yep. a, you know, to a public urinal. Yeah. People have walked in, you think, what shall I do? Yeah. Need to take a leak, but this guy's next to me and yeah. he's putting me off. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want any awkward splashback. You don't want them. God, no. You know, you don't want anything like that. So. And this does happen. Yeah. It it's does. hilarious <laughs> if you catch it on film. And these guys have done it very well, I must say. I just watched it. Just for, it's yeah. legit. For the record, if any, any females who have, well, stepped in to a, uh, a male toilet, they will, they will know. Exactly what it is. It's very quiet, isn't it, in there? Um, well, if, that, yeah, if that's well, a regular occurrence there, there for really you, man, you've got to let me know what's going on because that <laughs> well, has not well, happened I've been to around. me. Actually, my, you know, when we were originally developing the script and when we were talking about it, I went to my mum and I said, oh, um, you know, I, I've got this script. I, I want you to take a look at it. And she said, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. And she got it and she actually laughed. And, and she went, it, it's universal. She told me a story of her... Um, She's going to hate me. I'm sorry, Mum. I love you very much. But um, of her in a... <laughs> her in a public <laughs> toilet. Um, and obviously the girls' toilets, they have the cubicles. Right. Um, and when she turned up there and she needed to go to the toilet and she saw somebody else going on in the other ones and she's obviously just preparing to go for a wee. But yep. the whole idea of making noise in that situation, like who wants to be the first one to make noise? And like, it's kind yeah. of... You, you know, it, it's kind of not polite. So you'd kind of right. you know, you're, you're stuck kind of clenching and waiting. I kind of think, well, you know, you try and make it as quiet as possible and things. So, what, what you, yeah. so your mum said yeah. that about about her situation. Yeah. Because okay, if you go to a nightclub, and I know when you're drunk is a little bit different, but still, if you know when, I think uh, that confidence sort of comes back when you're drunk. You know, kind of. But I sort always, of. If you peek inside when the doors are open, you know, you always like have a looky look. Um, but it always looks like the girls are always chatty, chatty, chatty. You know, they can yeah, they can converse through through the uh, through the cubicles maybe. and stuff like that. Maybe they're just but covering up the awkwardness of if they talk, then you don't hear. Uh... Well, you know, I was going to say, it happens with guys as well in that situation because obviously there's not just urinals in a guy's toilets, yeah. right? You've got cubicles as well because yeah, yeah, we do, you yeah. know you need we, to do number do. two, right? Yeah, that can happen, and that is the same situation for yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, who's gonna make the first plop? Yeah, no, no who's one wants gonna to do be that? Caught short. No one wants. Well, there, to, there uh, is a, there's a little <laughs> gag, a little sort of uh, the aesthetic in our film where every the reason they have to use the urinals is because every single cubicle is occupied. Um, right. Yeah, so they go along. So and they have um, to do it. Yeah, push on some of them, and one guy actually says, and it's a. Uh, um, famous line that crops up in a couple of our other little films. Yeah, we've made it a little sort of signature line. Is it is it a signature or an Easter egg? I, it's, yeah, I don't know. it's something. Um, where uh, <laughs> the guy who directed it, John Parf, who works at Shadow Film Productions in Ipswich and makes his own films and things, he directed it um, and he was sitting in the toilet and obviously he had his cue when it shook and he goes, can't a man take a dump in bread? <laughs> like, just to, to add a bit of a... Not quite as elderly as that. Well, yeah, but yeah, it's northern, I mean, he's our age. Yeah. Uh, when I originally wrote the script, I wanted, like a, yeah, I wanted it to be an old person. Yeah, we did, That's try, very we did try to get his dad, but he wasn't having any of it. Yeah, okay. I think... Yeah. Yeah. But it was like a six-hour shoot. It was a long time. Yeah, there, as, so. for just doing that one yeah, thing as yeah. well. Yeah. As a consolation, we do have his mother saying it in our in our one of our in, future yeah, in hot chocolate with marshmallows. That oh hopefully, yeah. So. Uh, you yourself have some did the music yes. for yes. Uh, did the music and trying to clean up my horrible sound. There, yeah, well, we're getting there. Yeah, so. yeah. no, and it's, what it's is the name pretty of cool. Your, uh, your music thanks for there. thanks for saying, yeah, Laurie. Set you up. Live Wire Studios. Me and my friend James, we run it. We, if you guys need 
anyone out there needs some sound done for your films, their stuff come right to us. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks, man. We we have paid for the privilege to work with this man. Uh, he he's is, paid. He is absolutely fantastic. Him and James Boucher. Um, at That's very kind of you. you. You you can't get better. And so professional. You, you turn up. You know, you show them what you got. I turn up with a couple of my films and uh, Pillow Talk, which was shown on last week. I turned up and showed them that and said, look, guys, um, you know, I really want, like, some intro music and some outro music. Like, what can you do? This is what I was thinking. But two days later, they sent me all this stuff through my email. Oh, yeah, we've got different tempos in here. Check it out. Do you like it? You know, whatever. We try and keep it thorough if we can. So if you've got a specific idea, then we can work with that. And... Yeah, just do our yeah. best, really. Very, very efficient. You're very... Uh, Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's very right. nice. Thanks, for, thanks for plugging yeah. us right there. That <laughs> was very cool of you. Um, but yeah, so shall we take a quick look at this film? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, let's give it a watch. Great, let's give it a watch. Yeah. Sorry. Waterfalls and raging streams. Waterfalls and... Ah, oh, raging streams. <sighs> Sorry, can't a man take a dump in private? You know, you're not supposed to talk in these kind of situations, right? What situation? Seriously? Yeah, what situation? I'm kind of busy here. All right, you don't have to tell me twice. I don't think you flown. I was. Did you pinch? I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. If you politely be quiet, I'd like to continue this really starting to hurt. Sorry, do you want me to leave? Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Oh. Oh, what? I didn't think you'd say yes. What did you think I'd say? <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd offer to leave, leaving me in peace. Can we just focus? Fine. Thank 
So you guys, you've been uh, working together for a while because you went to university together, is that right? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, yeah, if I remember rightly. Yeah. Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge was where we met. Was it Cambridge? Cambridge. It was Cambridge. It was Cambridge. I always forget. And you've been working together ever yeah. since, been doing things, you know, you've, I've seen a couple of your other films and you've both been, you know, yeah. in that, either yeah. acting, well, mostly yeah, acting, Yeah, the, really? the first thing was uh, an animation, actually, claymation, that it was called oh. Bag of Tricks, about two hamsters. Three hamsters. Three hamsters, that's right, yeah, three hamsters. Um, we just tried to characterise the clay with the different colours and different sizes of, of clay to, to be different. We were experimenting, you know, yeah, I mean, it, it was our it. first claymation. Um, not going to lie, they did look a little bit like poo. There seems to be it's there seems clay. to be a theme going through our films, <laughs> something related to something poo, toilet pee, related. toilet related, toilet humor. That's um, you can't, can't go wrong it. with with toilet humor. Yeah. The, the Every, biggest it's hilarious. They were meant it's to hilarious. they were meant to um, represent hamsters, and you know they, we we would spend <laughs> with the clay, so they'd color yeah. up. The, uh, the biggest hamster, of course, had to be brown, right? <laughs> Did you? Is it hard to make a clay film? Because I hear that there's. I mean. As a kid, I was a big fan of Wallace and Gromit and things oh, like yeah, Morph, Morph. Yeah. you know, classic. But I hear that it's like, because you have to do, is it right, you have to like make a different sculpture for every single frame. <laughs> I would not a different sculpture, but you, so you, you can have one sculpture. And in Morph Studios, they'll have um, lots of different sculptures that I can do things with. But right. we just had um, sort of one model of each kind of colour that we yeah. were playing with. Um, and you take a picture. And then you move it, and you take a picture, and you move it. And you right. Take a picture. So it's just moving and modeling. Oh, I see. One. Yeah. But um, we had seventeen hundred pictures for about three minutes. Wow. Um, it was a lot. Yeah. We had lot. Was it twelve frames. Yeah, we were only doing twelve. Frames. Yeah, we were doing twelve frames. I guess you've got to get every little movement, yeah. like really like, specifically. It, it took stuff. us about forty-five hours just to do the the movements and things. And obviously wow. you can't do a 45 hour stint. So you come back the next day and you've got these models yeah. and you know, you've left them where they are, but you're thinking, well, well you know, where are they going to go? How do we, right. well, so you've got to plan it all out. Yeah, we, we have lights and things. So they, <laughs> get, they get warm under the lights. So they get really malleable later on. Right. But at the beginning, they're really hard. And they so don't you don't want to move. break off yeah. the arm by accident or yeah. something In like a that. way, Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, no carry it, on. It did make carry it easier, because at least we just have to move it slightly, but then you don't have to like take it off and, and be so d difficult. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I remember a lot of late nights, a lot of arguments, a lot of listening to Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat soundtrack. Yeah. For yeah. Us, yeah. Um, a lot I of pan of chocolates it, as well. I bought it from... Whatever uh, helps the creative I bought it from a charity shop. Apparently like, so, yeah. For like two pounds, and yeah. I love Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. Yeah. So. It's a classic. Good. Yeah, Someone... Classic. Do you know, my friend works, her mum works in a charity shop and I, I still play videos because yeah. you can get them really cheap from charity shops and they've got some pretty good classic yeah. films in there. And funnily enough, my friend brought me around some videos the other day that weren't <laughs> wanted at the charity shop. Yeah. Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat was within that pile. I God, too. Which I haven't actually seen, well I've seen it but I haven't. Seen it since I got the video, I so I might have I'd, to give that a. I had to own that version off the. It was video, yeah. The uh, it was like a stage play, wasn't it? But they yeah. I think of, I yeah. think so. I, that's the thing. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. It so it Dollar it could Dollar be. Yeah, it it's that one. yeah. It was Jason Dolan. Yeah. But, uh, you could yeah. pass for Joseph. Oh, cheers, man. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Here. Just need the. Just need the dreamy coat. Just need the dreamy. Yeah, you just you need the dream. I need the dream. I've got the dream. Just need a need a coat. But yeah, so. What was that clay film called? Is that available? Uh, so bag of Tricks. Bag, bag of Tricks is, it's is on, on our website, which I'll plug here again. That is, uh, so if you follow that link, www.offsetfilms.co.uk, which is hosted by D-Monkey Computers, which is uh, also fantastic for IT repair um, around in the Marthlesham, Ipswich, and kind of Felixstowe areas and things. So uh, give, us, give, us a, give us a shout, follow the link, and you can see our other our other films, because you did another claymation yeah. there as well. I it? did. It uh, definitely was an inspiration. I mean, you, you, so you, were, well. you were an inspiration behind that, but, you know, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was my own project. 
And so you guys, I mean, I've been working with you quite a lot recently, actually. Yeah. You were saying about the studio before, which you've been, you've been using for, I've been writing some music for you, yeah. for your films and stuff. One of them was, was like an advert, wasn't it? Which you had to, yeah, which was like um, a, in a competition, wasn't it? <laughs> you may have seen recently, uh, going to the cinema, um, that Cineworld ran um, an advert for a 90 second um, film. Um, it was supposed to be a pitch, so I think it was supposed to be sitting in front of a camera right. like this and kind of saying, this is what we want to do, this is how we get budgets, and this yeah. is what the film would be. Um, and there was supposed to be you know, five winners that would win um, £2,000, win like a mentor and some people to come and help them out. Right. And so we um, filmed something and put something into that. Yeah, you came down to Brighton for a few days, a couple of days. We uh, sort of tricked my friend into to helping us. And... Uh, they borrow the does steel, that's the film industry. Uh, yeah. Boy. Ross McGillicuddy and what a name. Stephen Fowler Tut. There you go. There's your little plugs yeah, there. Yeah, they, yeah. Are, they are some Fowler troopers. Tutt, what a legend. And yeah. Ross McGillicuddy. You're, you're a guy's boy. constantly plugging. Yeah. Good friends. Yeah. Good they friends. are. They are. They, uh, we, we wouldn't be anything and we wouldn't be in the situation where we are at um, without the people around us. Yes. Um, so if anybody any um, aspirational sort of filmmakers out there that are, that are wanting to start and want to start doing stuff in Felix Day, um, just get a team of people together, um, get a bit of a crew, kind of all learn together and then whilst you're doing it, just help each other out. That's, that's all we've done and if you look after them, kind of try and pay expenses you can, like treat them to like lunches and stuff. For um, Shy Bladder, we all went to Nando's, for everyone at um, Nando's, because, you know, who doesn't love chicken and whatnot? Stephen Fowler Tuck does not like Nando's. That upsets me. <laughs> wow. But we, yeah, we went to Nando's and, and had a had a nice meal with everyone, and we talked about um, how we're going to shoot the film and everything. And then when we met up the next day to do it, um, you know, everyone was ready, everyone was a bit happier and a good yeah. good frame of mind. So look after your people, and they they look after. Yeah, you. I mean, if you have a structure and stuff like that as well, I think people just enjoy it. I mean, there's been a few times where we've just winged it and. Yeah. With no schedule, people are a little bit sort of uh, yeah. sceptical about yeah. helping you again. But because we're, we're so strict now and we, you know, we're a bit more sort of prepared, right. then I think, you know, Steve enjoyed himself. Everyone, everyone getting involved. Si yeah. I guess that they, think, they might think that you're like, if you've got a plan, then you, you know, you've got like the vision. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? yeah. But sometimes like, there's nothing wrong with a bit of spontaneity at times, you know, yeah. if, if you've got like, that, that, obviously as you actors know, the improvisational element is yeah. sometimes yeah. necessary, which yeah. can, you know, which can lead to, yeah. to good things as well. So yeah, some, I guess a bit Some of fruit. Yeah. You yeah. Get, we, get, we get some golden gems and we get a lot of outtakes from that sort of thing. We do. Yeah. We, we tend to have longer outtake reels than we do <laughs> yeah. have of actual film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from just kind of playing around. So yeah. Messing around, space. trying ideas out. And yeah. Things. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Be the best. And uh, finally, the other th film that you've been working on and also you're both acting in is Hot Chocolate. Mm -hmm. Hot Chocolate with Marshmallows, yep. With Marshmallows. And um, yeah, uh, how was that? How's that, how's that going? How, <laughs> how was that to film? You, you got some other actors in, actresses, to film, didn't you? Yeah, yeah we had to, um, we paid some other um, actresses and... Yeah. Um, and we got them down. So one of them was from... Where was Elsie? Reading. From? Elsie was from Elsie Bournemouth. 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 Yes. So but I she one. came down to Brighton and I drove her and Steve, who helped us on that as well, up to up to um up to Ipswich. And, and we, we, we rented a yeah. um, the Woolsey Theatre. And in their cafe bit, they allowed us to, to kind of shoot. Was it the Woolsey, was it? Yeah, it was the Woolsey. Oh, cool. Woolsey theater, yeah, a oh, cafe there. Oh, we allowed to plug that? Yeah. Well, I'll plug it. Yeah, we'll have like to the say thank you to the Woolsey Theatre. They're a bunch of brilliant people there, and they're absolutely fantastic. And they helped thank us out. Thank you for your hospitality. Yeah, yeah they helped fantastic. us out um, a lot there. So yeah, uh, hot chocolate with marshmallows coming soon um, to a you know yeah, it screen was, near you. Yeah, it was ambitious. It was ambitious because yeah, we had a, yeah. uh, right. twelve page script to yeah. shoot in twelve hours. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not and much it took, time. Took us two hours to set up and do yeah. makeup and uh, dress the set and everything like that. So thank you um, to our also 
set designer, um, Elliot Turner as well, absolutely fantastic. Um, like does a lot of uh, art department um, yes. stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Went to university with us as well, and he's he's doing um, doing really well for himself now. And he just came in and took charge of the um, of the set and really really helped us out there. Yeah, it was. Um, to any of you future filmmakers there, any of you students, don't. You know, don't start off small. Go for it. Go for like a 10, 15 minute film because you will learn a hell of a lot. And yeah. it's just, it's just a lot of fun. And if you think you're not going to get a great product out of it, you'll, you'll gain some knowledge. So. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, always, a, there's always a silver lining. I mean, of course. Um, I'm looking at a, a, a book um, recently. There's someone called Robert Rodriguez or something. Um, Rob so Rodriguez? That. Isn't that's a filmmaker, that's, dude. That's the guy that yeah. did Sin City. Okay, so Rob Rodriguez did a... Ledge. So it is Rob Rodriguez. Um, he did a, a book that's called uh, Rebel Without a Crew. Um, and he, his book is about starting off in the film industry without, um, you know, without a crew there yeah. and just, you know, yeah. just doing it yourself and trying to work it out. So... Um, Learn by doing. Just do it. Yeah, yeah do I guess it. you have yeah. to. You must have to go out on a whim, don't you? When yeah. you're making your own films, so like you really do have to like do everything yourself. You know, yeah. everything's like unless you've got funding from other places. You know, you've got to put your money in it. You got to put your time into it. Yeah, you put your ideas. But you know, that's the the beauty of like the creative process of that. I mean, it's yeah. it's a big job, but you know, if you've got the idea there. Then it's you know it's worth doing in the end because yeah, of course. Know, yeah. I think what uh, Shy Bladder cost us. Three hundred and fifty. It was cheap. I mean, I think a lot of that. Because it's three minutes. Well, what did that even go on? I mean, it so went on. That was travel. Travel and food. And food yeah. And, um, all of that. Yeah. Did, yeah. I mean, we've just spent recently. We put it into uh, three festivals, and that's cost us yeah, hundred pounds. Yeah, putting it into festivals. Yeah, um, we didn't pay anything for the toys, did we? I think we... No, we no, didn't pay no. anything for location. Which, and, by the way... Try and get... So that's the big borrower and steal part. Try and get as much as you can for free, because it, it costs a lot. That was the... I think that was the biggest complication of that shoot, I think. Because as of... We shot that on the Tuesday. As of Monday evening, we still did not have a location secured. We had... We, we like, had... We had... We had some... Uh, we had a backup. But the toilet was, was tiny. This was a perfect... Because we needed something with, with space. Right. Yeah. Um, and there wasn't a lot that was uh, in the offering. But yeah, then we really landed across this, which uh, the only thing it cost lucky. was a one toilet seat. There you go. There you go. I'll let Matt tell the story. Of well, why, yeah, tell why, it. Share with us. Why we needed one toilet seat. Yeah. So in the film, there are cubicles that are all occupied. So we needed to lock every single door. Now, right. if you shut the doors and not even lock them, they will still they will stay shut. That's fine. Um, but there was just one nagging door that just wouldn't comply. It wouldn't uh, it wouldn't negotiate. Okay, we we, we yeah. you know we we were nice to it, but we stroked it a little bit. But no, it just wouldn't. It would just keep uh, is it ajar. Is that the word? Yeah. yeah it would just ajarring. Whatever. Yeah. It would just keep swinging open. So I thought, oh, everyone was doing their own thing. So instead of like, you know, trying to negotiate with other people and just sort of like, oh, what do we do here, guys? Yeah. I just went on my own thing, or what, you know. And uh, I went in, locked the toilet and from the inside. And well, there's only two ways out. You slide under or you go over. Well, I thought, <laughs> I'm a ninja, let's hop over. Ninja. Yeah, nice. slung, the, slung the seat down, stand on it. <laughs> went one leap, all there was was crack. Silence, I'm uh, in the toilet. And in the toilet. I was in the toilet. In the to and that's in the toilet. <laughs> um, all I heard was him shout, What was that? <laughs> and then there was me just unlocking the door. Taking a dip. And just in bringing this. In the toilet. There was a shards of toilet seat. I mean, it's their fault for employing such classic piece of. I don't think, I don't think we can say that exactly. it's their fault. I mean, <laughs> some people design. might want to jump over the, the door yeah. onto a toilet. Sometimes, they should, sometimes yeah. you need an easy exit, right? And sometimes you need a strong toilet seat that's not going to break if you jump down on it. Exactly. You know? oh, okay. Um, Unfortunate though, but that's a good story. Yeah. Well, so that's it. Uh, it's really good speaking to you guys. Yeah. And I'll, very much. I'll see more of you guys yeah. both soon, I'm sure. And, um, check the advert at the end for uh, offsetfilms.co.uk. Yeah. yeah, all the films on there. And if you're in the area, go to Mainstone as of from the 18th to the 24th to go see a play called Those That Can't that you can Easy see me play. perform extremely camp 
and extremely annoying. So that should be very fun. My first stage production. He's a good actor. I'm all right. So, yeah. Nice. All right. You've been watching Felix Doe TV. I've been Oscar. Thank you very much. Mm.